Well, switch over to a player that people are definitely excited about, right? And we'll build up the hype from someone that always wears shorts. So Lionel Messi. Uh, <laughs> That's a good pivot. Good pivot. <laughs> the soccer player for Argentina saying that he's going to come to the MLS and play for Miami. That's spurring a reportedly $400 million offer from the Saudis actually to go over to their league. Now, this deal is not yet official, but what's been interesting to watch is the overall hype we are seeing in MLS, which is, of course, now streamed on Apple TV+. Plus. So we've been sort of watching it through that lens as well. Interesting to look at ticket prices today. <laughs> so Miami is scheduled just... to come to New York in August when they play the Red Bulls. Tickets are going to be $430 to get in when Miami comes, when Lionel Messi's here. If you were to go a Any week $20? earlier, $20? $25. That's, That's nice. the messy effect in two simple numbers of what he but could do lasts. for MLS. I don't know. You well, don't know. He has to play well, right? Because yeah. that's sort of the thing here is he needs to still be electrifying. Mm -hmm. But Messi has been that kind of soccer player that can have one moment, score a great True. goal, and get people in. So I do think they could have that. Kind and of he's thing. had an amazing career, but he is 35 years old. Mm -hmm. And that sort of raises the question about, you know, why he took this package over the money that the Saudis threw, right? I mean, can we yeah. talk a bit about that? Some of the sweeteners that were put in, the brand partnerships potentially? The Athletic's and reporting that uh, Apple's actually giving him some of the revenue for, wow. that they're getting from the and deal, which would be very And then potential ownership after he retires. Right, and there's also potential sweetener from Adidas to come over here too, which is interesting because Adidas really likes their MLS partnership. And I think Adidas also wants maybe a better facing mm -hmm. person to lead their uh, partnerships in the U.S. because the last one didn't go so well. So maybe Messi can help them out with becoming popular in the U.S. again. I mean, I think Apple's interesting because I do think it's going to drive those subscriptions to Apple TV+. Plus. Apple, of course, signing that 10-year-long uh, pact with the MLS Major League Soccer. And they've really been leaning into the fact that they are the streamer where you want to watch soccer, whether it's real life or whether it's fictional with Ted Lasso. And even Ted Lasso has featured real-life soccer players, Messi's manager was featured on an mm. episode. So they've sort of created this whole brand around soccer. And I, I certainly think it's going to help drive subscriptions. I think it's going to help drive subscriptions. But I think to the degree, how much is the big question here? Because soccer has gone through many iterations. There was so much excitement when David Beckham came over. That fizzled out pretty quickly. There's obviously a lot of excitement surrounding Messi. Will we still be talking about it? Will we still see anything like those numbers that we just put up there, over $400 for a ticket? Probably not I next think, year. But I think it will help Apple when you think about what Messi is in Argentina. Think about the videos we were showing of Messi after they won that World Cup, how excited the people were. I mean, you look at uh, Inter Miami's Instagram followers went from 1 million to 5 million. Wow, basically that overnight. is crazy. If you can do that and you can draw massive, mass appeal globally because people just want to watch Messi as long as he is playing, I think it might be bigger than we can fully understand here in the U.S. because, quite frankly, soccer just isn't that big. Well, at what it's point not does, at that level. At what point does MLS become a league that athletes come to at their prime, not well, at the end of Well, that's a larger discussion that I don't know if they're ready baby for Baby steps, yet. Akiko, right. baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got to leave it there.